All right, all right, all right. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And lots has happened. Lots and lots. Oh, hold on. Let me just do this for a second. R dot. I have to do this every time. I wonder if there's a config setting that I can just type in. Look at look at the difference. Look at the difference of the window now. You can actually see outside. Um, lots has happened. Uh, so I got to tell you guys everything that happened when I was out by the swamp. Um, craziness happened. My Dimorphodon is still right there. And I actually did finally get Win. A little Dimorphodon of her own. So here it is. Let me just, uh, I'm going to actually call it to me for a second here. See if we can get through the door. I think it's smart enough? Mm, no. Okay, you go there. You go on my shoulder. Whoa, whoa, lag. Hello, lag. Here you. I'm gonna throw it here. Alright. So you can just... Uh-oh. It flew out the window. Mine landed here. Winds flew out the window, but I think I can actually glitch it and pick it up. Let's see. See here. Let's see if I can. Oh. Right there. E. I'm pressing E when I see it. Oh, there. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Throw it and just whistle it to be not following me. There we go. So we can see hers as well. And it is a male, so they are mate boosted, which is kind of cool. Um get rid of the, the UI and hers is kind of the same color except it's got darker wings the same color as its body and a purple face um, so lots happened when I was trying to get this guy so when we left off I was sitting in the water waiting I waited and waited and waited I was finally fully healed and I saw that white dimorphodon the white one that I really wanted for a long time and so I fired at it and out of nowhere like three or four Dimorphodons came at me uh, and I literally fired it had to have been five or six Trank arrows into every single Dimorphodon and none of them were dying none of them were falling over meanwhile it only took uh, two Trank arrows for mine one was a glitch and one wasn't and this guy it took, I think, another two, maybe three Trank Arrows to get it down. Um, which I'm pretty sure is a glitch. Because there are times where I can fire six or seven or eight Trank Arrows into this tiny little Dimorphodon. And it won't get knocked out. So here I was running from a, a giant flock of Dimorphodons. And they killed me. I actually died way out there. At the swamp. It was crazy. I died at the swamp. And... Basically what happened is... Uh, I had to get in a Skype call with Wynn. Tell her to get my pirate ship going. And she actually traveled down the coast and picked me up on the pirate ship. And that's how I was able to get her Dimorphodon friend here. So a lot of name suggestions, you guys. This time, more name suggestions uh, than we had for the Barney frog. Someone in the comments actually said, Barney is short for Bernadette. And I <laughs> I actually really like that. I think that, that kind of made sense. Um, I had There was this girl at my old high school years and years ago. Her name was Marnie, M-A-R-N-E-Y. So that's why I'm thinking Barney isn't that far away from a girl's name anyway. And I've heard of girls being named like Jordan and Blaine and uh, even George. Short for Georgina or something like that. So you never know a girl's name. Anyway, the name for this one, I've, I went through all the comments, poured through the comments. Most of them were telling me name it Polly. Like, you know, the parrot. Polly want a cracker. Uh, pirates were pirates here. 
So, Polly would be perfect name for a Dimorphodon, right? But Polly's kind of a guy's name, and I'll ha I have to be honest with you guys. We had actually thought of that, um, and Wynn was going to name hers Polly. She named it Toothless, even despite the fact that it actually has lots of teeth. Um, Toothless here was going to be named Polly, but the one name that really I actually really liked, it was near the bottom of the list, which means it was made probably one of the first names suggested, I don't know is very close to it Paulina I think was that what it, Paul Paulina is that what it was now I can't remember if that's what it was it was it was close to Pauly Pauline maybe Pauline uh, how would that be Paul I N E Pauline, Pauline. Yeah, uh, that might not be the spelling of it. I might have to check that. But Pauline, that's that's so close to Polly, but female. I like it. So other people were like, do the gender bent names, like name it Jethro or Johnson or something. Um, or I could name it something like George, you know. But uh, I think I'm okay with just Pauline. Pauline's okay. And I have another surprise for y'all. Let's just go over... Actually, I gotta throw this Pauline and make it follow me. There we go. Romeo, I got another surprise for you guys. Check this out. Oh, take that away. Look at this! I got another chicken! But this one's different. This one's really wicked colored. I haven't painted any of it. If you're thinking that the white on its head is paint or something. I haven't painted a thing. Um, and just look at it. It is pretty cool. Let's ride it. You guys will see the wings. Look at the wings. Very copper colored. I don't know. I just I saw this thing flying around and I actually chased after it to catch it. And it, it was quite incredible looking. So I'm really happy about it. I got it when it was about level maybe 5 or 6. And I've leveled it already up to level 10. Um, and also, kind of a, a little surprise, is that I actually learned and made win a saddle for her Pteranodon. Because I am now level 36, so I can make them at level 35. And I did. I made them at level 35. So, I made her a saddle, which she really appreciates, because this guy is, like, super fast. I forget how fast Tronodons are. Like, they, they just, they're blazingly fast. Flyers. Oh, look at this battle. I'm kind of curious to see, will the Sarko kill the ape man? The Gigantopithecus? Suffering Sectash, Pithecus. Oh yeah. I think it's I think it's laying a smackdown on that Sarko. What? He's like not even interested anymore. Huh? Wait, what? Oh now he now he is. Okay. Oh yeah, and he he just destroyed a Sarko. What level is this guy? Level 13. Alright. I don't want to hang around him too much because he will get annoyed with me and attack me. But I'm totally going to collect here. <laughs> Anything in it? No. Alright, but I can still collect some hide. There we go. 29 hide from that guy. Crocodile skin. Leather boots. Now. Oh, level up. Oh, yeah. This is on IV. That's right. That's right. I'm not going to level up her her thing. But look at how fast he is. Super fast. Um, so I did a little bit of research. Now, I, I've been hearing a lot of things. And I've even acknowledged a lot of things. Oh, come on. Land on there. I've even acknowledged a lot of things about the level difference. So the benefits of leveling... 
or, or taming a higher level creature like an Argentavis. But for me, lower level, starting at a lower level and leveling it up, it almost seems more natural. It almost seems like this was my baby and, and it's grown with me. Does that make any sense to you guys? You know, we want to start breeding and stuff and people have confirmed to me there is no incubator item. I thought I was positive there was because people were saying there was. And I was reading things online that were saying there was. And people saying that they will be adding that in soon. But not yet. So all you have to do is put two dinosaurs together in an enclosed, a very tight enclosure. And set them to wander. And they'll make a baby. Yeah, they will. And then you got to feed it like crazy and do all these kinds of things. Take care of it like a Tamagotchi. Um... And, and those you level up from the beginning. It's not like, you know, that you worry about their stats so much. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I prefer to raise tamed animals from lower levels. There's clearly a benefit to taming higher level ones, though. So now, now that I know that, I'm not going to turn down. Like, if I see a level 30 something and I know that I have the time, I'm not going to turn that down. Right? So here, I've actually started working on docks. Now, it's not finished by far, um, but this side's more finished. This is the design. I'm using doorways and window frames and then ladders in between to make a nice-looking dock. Um, and the purpose, of course, is when we are on, <laughs> on the dock. Let's get on the dock here. The purpose is that we can just jump across right to the ship. We don't have to worry about trying to get on the ship and all that kind of stuff but yeah i like the looks of this dock i think that the dock is kind of stylish i tried to make it stylish that's why i have the door frames and the ladders and the ports now obviously this this makes it easy for people to get into the base they can if they're on foot and they can't get in through the stone they can just climb up a ladder and get in but i figured that these walls are to prevent dinosaurs from getting in and attacking our base People could always just fly in or even jump in if they've got a Beelzebub foe. You can jump right over any wall, basically. Two high, three high, who cares? Boing. You know? So, I think that it's mostly to prevent dinosaurs and for aesthetics. It's a, it shows that this is a base, that this is our little fortress. Um, and now on to my rant. Now, this isn't going to be about my Argentavis who died. Although, I got to say to you guys. Um, although the Wonder Chicken is no longer with us. I might be painting this guy. I don't know what color yet. Um, I want you guys to name this one too. Because you guys are so good at naming them. So, here's my copper colored giant Argentavis. Um, in all of its glory. I might paint it a little bit. Here, let me turn up the gamma just a little tad. So you can see the colors more vividly. Um, actually, let's get into the sun here. There we go. There we go. There we go. So here's the colors of this guy. And I don't know. You guys name away. Name away. I know a lot of the, you guys were naming after Greek and Roman uh, heroes and gods and legends and things like that. You don't have to. I know that Code's doing that on his series. Which he carried over from the previous server we were on. But I'm not too into that. I don't really... I, I'm, I, not that I would reject those names right out. But it doesn't have to be named after, you know, Artemis or something like that. Let code name after Roman gods. I'll just stick to whatever names I pick. Um... Is that Carbo actually stuck behind Carl? That's annoying. That's really irritating. I should just kill it. Level 14. These guys could take it. Totally. Eh, whatever. Alright, Pauline. That was such a good name. I like that one because it was... Everybody was suggesting Pauly and then there was this one that was like... S almost poly, you know? Very good. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Oh! Oh! I almost forgot. <laughs> let me, uh... 
You know what? Let's let's take this guy for a spin. Let's go. Let's go spin. Spin up the mountain or something. Um, a lot of people asking me what happened with the ankylosaur because we were taming it and we were like, I'm gonna cut it here because because we uh well we we want to tame it and it takes a long time. And then we came back. I came back in my episode. And the Angulosaur is just gone. So I wanted to tell you guys that yes, it did die. Um, it got attacked by, I think, two Smilodons. And it was almost dead. It was like on a fraction of its health left. And a Dimorphodon or something flew out of nowhere and just killed it. Um, it was very upsetting. We were... Wynn was really upset. She, I think, really badly wanted this Ankylosaur. Had spent a lot of time protecting it. And for it to just die like that was a little bit disappointing for her, I think. Um, which makes sense. What the heck just fell? What was that that just fell? You guys see that? I'm going to go check it out. This guy's movement speed is slow compared to my old Argentavis. Oh, who's an Ankylosaur? I think. Speak of the devil. Yeah! <laughs> Just like fell off a mountain, apparently. What level are you? Huh? Hey, guy. Level three. Hmm. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> Uh Ooh, look at this. Look at this Argentavis over here. He's dead now. <laughs> He's dead now, but it was like black with like red tip wings. Very cool. I just want to take this guy for a spin. The Ankylosaur died. Dimorphodon killed it or something after we had spent like probably a good almost hour taming it and it was so close to being tamed. And we were trying to defend it. We had all of our dinosaurs around the Ankylosaur. Um, and it just... It just uh, died. Just like that. So kind of upsetting, but... It happened. Nothing we can do about it. Ooh, I love those crystals. How they glow like that. At night. Put up the gamma a little bit. I watch my episodes and the gamma really it could never be high enough like it looks bright to me but it looks dark on camera quite a bit ooh the snowy area you know there's been a a t-rex here somewhere i'm just gonna fly down a little bit there's been a t-rex here and he's been stuck inside of metal i think i wonder if he's still there let me go take a look get too close to those Argentavis, they will attack me. Where was he now? Ooh. What happened here? Oh no. I thought it was blood, but it wasn't. It's just red flowers. There's a golden Argentavis, kind of. I guess he did uh, despawn finally. Unless he's down. Oh, here he is. Here he is. He was further down. And somehow he still survives. Like, I guess things have tried to attack him. Must have. They must be. But he just kills them and then heals because he's eating. So this this camo-colored T-Rex. Look at him. Let's see if I can land here. It's camo-colored. He's like, he's like army green with like army brown coloring. And he's stuck inside these rocks, and he's been here for ages. And I'm almost tempted to tame him, just because of how odd-colored he is. He looks like Camo. Like, really, he does. Ooh, he's getting free. What? How is he getting free? He's been stuck there for ages. Don't tell me that just me standing there broke him free. You're kidding me! He's free! 
That's nuts. He's been stuck. I am telling you guys, he's been stuck there for ages. That's how I knew he was there. And he just got free. Okay, well. Never mind then. I'm supposed to be trying to tame him. But, uh. Oh, this game. I've been, like, having so much fun playing this game again. Um. It's like there's this plateau. Like, when you reach a certain level, like level 20, that things start to become a little bit easier. Oh, look at this white Argentavis with the yellow tips. I love that. Like that a lot. Oh, it's kind of a grayish. Never mind. That one down there is kind of white. I'm starting to think that my Wonder Chicken was pretty rare. Like, I have not seen another one like it. Because its wings didn't have any color on them. They were all solid white. It was white on white. Kind of like how this guy is copper on copper. His wings are all one color. And it seems like that color scheme is really a lot rarer than the multicolored wings. Like that guy up there, he's kind of grayish, reddish, yellowish. That one over there, it's white and yellow. Um, then you got a lot, of, a lot of tan and white, things like that, and it's just I don't know, solid colored, solid colored. <laughs> Hi Raptor, how's it going? How are you doing? This guy's actually kind of cool looking. Look at him. He's like pure gray. He kind of looks evil. It's really weird looking, actually. That's so weird. Oh, no. Look. As the sun comes out, it's yellow or orange on his head. Very cool. Bye. Ouch. He actually hit my foot as he fell. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm. But yeah, I'm having so much fun. Um, once you once you reach like level twenty, then things start to get easier. Once you can fly, once you can fly at level thirty-five, is when you're supposed to fly. Um, the world opens up. There we go. So I've calmed down, obviously, since the last episode uh, when I finally was able to tame another Argentavis um, and I just I was able to get the saddle back which is this is the original saddle from Wonder Chicken um, so that was really what what hinged it uh, if I hadn't had the saddle back then I it would have literally been impossible to get another Argentavis until I was level 55 so I'm happy that I got it name it name it in the comments and with that, I think I'm going to end the episode. I just wanted to show you guys the update. Um, the update to our base, I mean. With this new amazing looking work in progress dock. And uh, with our newly tamed creatures and the like. And with that, we'll be seeing you next time on Ark. Bye-bye.